minutes past seven, there are demands for the law to be changed to make it illegal for pubs not to serve soldiers who were in their uniform. It's after a pub in Coventry wouldn't serve six soldiers before they went to the funeral of a soldier killed in Afghanistan. One of those refused was the soldier's brother, David Allison, was another of them. It was said, you can't come in, you're in fatigues and we, we won't serve you. And it was just like, it was a sort of numb feeling. And you, what can you do? You just you just go and um, and that was it. It was just disgust, really, absolute disgust. We just went in there, a cup of coffee, and that was it. Settle our nerves and off, off we wanted to go, but no, apparently not. Now, the owner of the bar, Ken Brown, says it was the bar's policy not to serve any customers wearing uniform. He said he would have made an exception if he'd known the funeral was taking place. I've since been made aware of why these soldiers were in Coventry, and had I known of the circumstances, I would have willingly served them. I am genuinely sorry for the distress caused to the family of the late Corporal Michael Thacker and through the military family liaison officer, I have sent a non-reserved apology to his widow, Catherine and the soldiers concerned. Now, the soldier's widow, Catherine Thacker, is now calling for the owner, Ken Brown, to reconsider his policy on stopping people in uniform from entering the bar. We're not allowed to wear our poppies. We get asked to leave. We can't wear Christian crosses in schools. It's about time that this is stopped and we should celebrate who we are and we should celebrate the fact that these people give our lives. My husband gave his life for people to have freedom of speech and to be able to wear what they want to wear. Let's speak now to the independent MEP for the West Midlands, Nikki Sinclair, who's part of the Armed Forces Parliamentary uh, Scheme. Um, Good morning. Good morning. What do you make of this? Uh, When I heard about it, I I just was just just absolutely speechless. I think it's absolutely disgusting. And once again, it's another example of where is common sense in our society. Um, I think the Royal British Legion have a motto, don't they? Honour the dead, but remember the living. And I think it's quite paradoxical where we have the Armed Forces Day this Saturday, we have the Bomber Command opening, the Queen's opening Bomber Command Memorial in London today, we have the Remembrance Day in November, but we don't treat our current servicemen with respect. You know, there's redundancies, there's there's problems with dental care, with schooling. We need to treat our servicemen, you know, the wars that we're involved with are not very popular at the moment, but they're not our soldiers' fault, they're the politicians' fault, and if you don't Mm. like these wars, you take it out on the politicians, not the soldiers. Uh, I mean, Danny Kelly on BBC WM yesterday afternoon from 2 did an awful lot on this, and so many people were getting in touch. A lot of people, you know, that have been serving soldiers, they were saying they've not really seen any of this they've not experienced anything like this what do Uh you think though needs to be done to to protect the rights uh, of the troops and their families well i would say that probably most of them haven't but i was out in afghanistan as part of this scheme um in november and one of the messages i actually brought back is that the people didn't think that they were being appreciated or understood what they were doing there you know they cited the memorials being broken for 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 scrap and you know for example the, the welfare of their family not being taken seriously um and i i just think that we we do need to have something in place i know the government have promised this military covenant and i wrote to every single local authority within this region with a mixed response and i'm following a lot of those up we have a real problem there we owe a duty to these people who you know as as the um the widow of, of that soldier said you know they put their lives on this so we have freedom and we need to appreciate that freedom and we need to respect and honour them. The independent MEP for the West Midlands, Nikki Sinclair, thanks very much for speaking to us this morning. 15 minutes past seven now. BBC WM 95.6